Hi there, Joanne Jaworski here from TwoAuthenticPower.com. And sometimes when you're a performer or a singer, you get into the mode where you just don't feel like it. You just can't get into the heart of why you're playing. And there are other times, you know what I'm talking about, when you're in the zone and it just kind of flows together and it fits together and you're playing because you can just, it just comes from your from your inner being, from your gifts and talents of your inner being. So I wanted to put together a video so that you can enhance that and pull that up as needed. A lot of times you may not be in the right frame of mind. You may have had something that's distracting you when you're about getting ready to play. And um, I know that tapping can change that attitude, can get you lined up with what your intent is to bring as you play to the audience to whatever, whoever you're playing for. And there are other times when it's just, it's kind of helter skelter. And this would be a fabulous tapping to do before you get ready to play so that you're lined up with how you want to play from your heart and soul. So if you follow along, if you don't know where the tapping points are, please review back to my introduction to how to tap. I'm not going to go through that here, but if you uh, don't know where the tapping points are, just revisit the introduction to tapping video. And I'm going to take you through this. You can tap along. Actually, just watching it isn't going to do anything, so you really do need to tap along. This changes. Ama amazing things happen when you tap. And while you may not have experienced that yet, I promise you, when you start changing your energy, things show up kind of magically. You get into a groove that just, you just, you're floating through it. You're just easing through it instead of oh, trying to, you know. So I'm doing this video to enhance your skills, to bring them up in the best and highest way that you can that you can perform anytime every time and when you tap along with this your subconscious mind and your energy will get used to doing that so i'm just going to go through the tapping points uh, i'm going to go through the whole tapping sequence tap along and um, if there's something you want to add in your own words or something that would be meaningful to you please do that. Before we begin, I just want you to take a second, and you may have to pause this video. I want you to take a second to just think of a time when you played from your heart, when it just flowed through you so easily and effortlessly, and everything was hitting right. Your timing was great. Your accentuations were great. The tones were great. Everything, whether you're a musician or whether you're a singer, Everything just kind of fell into place and it felt so good. I want you to think of that time or times, pick out one that's significant to you. It could be from long ago. It could be from recent. It could be any time you really were just in the zone. So focus on that as we're going through this, because when I get to that part of instead of changing the struggle to the time when I played at my best and highest good, and it really just flowed through you. That's what I want you to think of is that memory, okay? So we're gonna start tapping through this and uh, follow along. You can go back to this as many times as needed. I would also make sure that you're hydrated so that you have enough water. Coffee and tea are not considered water. They are, they can be dehydrating actually. So um, you might wanna take some water before you start this tapping. It's gonna be short, it's only gonna be 10 minutes long or so. So uh, take some water. You might take some water before and after and uh, pay attention to how you feel this in your body too because you know everybody talks about the mind body spirit connection i really want you to pay attention as you're going through this where you might feel some of the energy that you're trying to release and when you feel really good how does that feel in your body get in tune with both of those feelings it can truly transform how you play and that's what the point of this video is so here we go follow along repeat after me so tap on the side of your hand. Again, if you don't know the tapping points, go back to the introduction video that's, uh, that's available online that you can look at. Okay, so even though I may not be ready to play right now, repeat, I just don't seem to be in the flow of it. I may be feeling frustrated or worried I may have some anxiety or anger going on. I may just be feeling distracted and don't even know why. 
I love, honor, and accept all sides of me anyway. Even though I can't seem to get into the groove of this, I'm not playing the way I know I can play. But I want to. I'm telling my body it's safe to release any anxieties or tensions, worries or frustrations, griefs or sadnesses, and put those feelings, if they can't be totally released, on a shelf just off to the side while I'm performing and playing. I love, honor, and accept that I want to be in the zone every time I play, every time I sing, every time I perform. Go to the end of the eyebrow points. All these emotions I may be feeling getting in the way. All the tension and worry I might be holding. It's making my breath short. So I'm not feeling as much breath control. And I seem to be working hard at it today for some reason. Or maybe I'm not even working hard at it, but it's just not flowing. I want to find a way to find an easy route to play like I know I can play. If you're a singer, you sing like I know I can sing. All this tension and tightness I might be holding that I wasn't really even aware of. I might be holding it in my chest where it's affecting my breathing. In my heart where it might be holding me back from my true essence. This isn't about necessarily enhancing my ability as it is allowing my ability. There's something just not flowing quite right or in the best way that it could. And I'm looking for a way to ease out that tension and tightness and any heavy emotion I might be holding on to at this moment. Take a deep breath. Release it slowly. And now I want to do a positive round. Now, if you're still having some churning or you just feel out of sync, go back and replay that part. Because if you try to add in positive things that are too good too quickly and you're still feeling crappy back there, the positives won't take as much hold. So you want to kind of get that charge down and you'll feel it as you kind of, you know, you'll kind of want to take a deeper breath. You may start yawning. That's another release that says, uh, Something is letting go and, and letting uh, releasing from your energy. So if you're still holding on to some tension and tightness, you still feel like there's something in the way that's you know preventing you and you're stirred up, go back and retap. And this time we're going to tap on some good things. So here we go with the good stuff. Even though up to this point in time, I might have been distracted, but I'm choosing to refocus and perform from my heart. I remember those times I played from my heart when everything flowed like magic from inside. I'm telling my subconscious mind and energy to revisit and remember how good that felt and play just or play or sing just like that today in this moment when I'm done tapping. I remember how it magically fell to into place. 
I remember how when I performed that song, how great I felt, how easy it was, how fun it was, as if it flowed through me by magic. I want to tune into that zone right here and now. I want to tune into that memory and how it flowed right here and now. My playing, performing, or singing is effortless and easy. Just like that memory that I'm thinking of right now. It just seemed to be magical. I played from my heart. I enjoyed performing from my heart. It flowed as if it was coming and channeling through me. So easy and effortless. So great. It was almost as if somebody else had taken over and things were flowing through me magically. I love and honor my gifts and talents. They were given to me in the way that I can use them to not only bring joy to myself as I perform, but to bring joy to those who are listening. If I'm playing by myself or with others, I am in the zone. I am in sync. I'm in that magical ability that is mine to share. Leaving behind the worries and anxieties, the pains and the griefs, the fears and the worries, the tension and the tightness in my body, I release and let it go. I feel safe to release and let it go. I am opening up to playing at my highest and best. Allowing it to flow through me. Allowing my gifts and talents to shine. I want to be entertained myself as well as entertain. When you do something really well, it makes your pride expand. I want to feel that pride. I want to feel that joy right here and now. I'm open to allowing and receiving, playing or performing easily and effortlessly. I easily and effortlessly get into my power zone so that I can share it not only to, for myself, but to the pleasure of the audience too. Take a deep breath. Really slowly. And if you want to reinforce that, you can go back to the part of this video that's um, the positives. And if they feel like you're saying, yeah, right, I've had a really crappy day, go back to the beginning where the energy is more trying to release the heavy emotions. Because then when you put in the positives, they will take hold and you will start to feel it. It's like, yes, I'm in my power zone. Yes, I feel really good. It just, oh, it's as if by magic. I hope this helps. This is Joanne Jaworski from TrueAuthenticPower.com. Wishing, wishing, wishing you a great performance. Bye-bye.